bit weird. <laughs> so we arrived for so and we are walking towards the main airport. First mistake that we did was uh, we uh, fly with Ryanair from Landwetter Gothenburg to um, Warsaw Modlin Airport instead of flying directly to Lublin. Uh, Lublin has um, its own airport. Um, it's just for the fact that it's it was 2000 sec cheaper per person. But I would say um, with all the hassles and the stress that we had that time, it, it was much much better and more convenient if we didn't think of the 2000 sec uh, more. We underestimated the war scenario. It was our first time in that country and we didn't think that there will be you know a problem of using uh, public transportation such as uh, buses and trains just like here in Sweden. Um, both of us are uh, frequent travelers so we didn't expect that, that we will have a hard time um, using those uh, public transportations. I mean, I will not say that we didn't plan ahead because before traveling, um, I check all the things that we uh, we have to do. Like, um, I check the train schedules, I check the buses schedules that it's possible to go by uh, bus, uh, both bus and trains from the airport, from Modlin Airport to the Warsaw City Center. We didn't pre-book our tickets um, for the reason that we didn't know what time we will, um, we will arrive in the Warsaw uh, City Center. I mean, um, from the Modlin Airport, um, we bought our um, bus tickets um, yeah, uh, we tried to to um, find a bus tickets from a machine, but obviously it didn't work. So uh, we just uh, we found this uh, ticketing booth for the bus um, express bus directly to the Warsaw city center. So we arrive in uh, Modlin Airport in Warsaw. We have to go by uh, by bus to the city center. Just waiting. Next bus is 10:45. But look at this airport. <laughs> Toby said it's like a bus, uh, just a bus station. So let's see. Okay. So from the Modlin airport, we rode the bus, uh, which took one and a half hours to uh, Warsaw city center. Um, okay, that was we're on the bus now. And one hour going to Warsaw uh, Centrum. Then from uh, the central station, we will go by train to Lublin. That's why the main reason we didn't pre-book the ticket was, uh, yeah, we didn't know what time we will be arriving exactly. Plus, uh, we wanted to maybe like walk around and uh, you know um, check a little bit of the center. So yeah, um, that's the reason why we didn't book our uh, train ticket. And um, we thought that it will be more convenient to just go in, a, in the train station and uh, um, buy a ticket in the ticketing, count, uh, ticketing counter. So we will be able to ask more information with the staff or um, yeah, um, something like that. So here's my tips about the uh, train trips from Warsaw to uh, Lublin. So first thing, um, there are few uh, train stations in Warsaw, so make sure that you know uh, where you have to go and uh, which station you have to uh, you have to go. So we went to the central station. Uh, we queued to the ticketing booth, um, knowing that there will be a trip from Lublin. We also tried uh, checking the um, machine. Um, ticket machine but yeah it says there uh, there's no available seat so what we did is went to the ticketing booth but apparently the staff said that there's no uh, ticket from uh, from the central uh, station to Lublin so we had a panic mode but the staff said that there is um, available tickets in the east station 
so yeah so from the uh, central station we went to the other station which is called um, East, East Station or Warsaw Washnodia I will put here so in case I hope it will not happen to you in case you have to uh, go to another uh, train station um, don't go by taxi it's better that you will download the uber app it's very easy it's very convenient i think it's it's um, uh, very uh, common or very popular in in um, poland to use an uber app just like other countries so yeah uh, it's better to use that one rather than going to the street and look for a taxi or something because uh, in the city center um, yeah it's always like chaos and um, it's always busy and sometimes it could be difficult to find a taxi so if you know the exact time of your arrival uh, book your train ticket in advance apparently there is no um, app for that in uh, in Poland I don't know um, but as I've checked in the internet, there's no such app. And if you will Google that one train uh, Poland, there will be lots of um, websites that will, you know, uh, pop up. You but have to use the polishtrain.eu. I will put the link down below. So it's better to use that website. It's, um, yeah, I think that's the right um, website that you have to use. If it's your first time traveling to uh, Poland, um, of course there will be confusion, especially the signage are in Polish, there will be no English uh, translation or something. Um, don't be afraid to ask people, you know, rather than being lost and, uh, you know, and waste your time, you better grab someone, especially maybe people or uh, employee who are working in the um, train station or bus station or in the airport ask them don't be shy <laughs> anyways i hope you will learn something from this vlog and i wish that you will not have uh, this kind of mistakes that we had um, if you will be traveling from uh, modlin airport to lublin and by the way i would say that lublin is a really really nice um, city to visit um, we stayed there for uh, three days with our ukrainian friends and um, yeah we were lucky the weather was really nice when uh, we were there we visited the old city um, and uh, yeah there were like um, squares or yeah tourist spots there which we really enjoyed a lot uh, walking around and um, yeah, thank you for watching again and have a good day. Hey, do. Who's a crown?